Sharon Alberry at the beauty party. In a few hours, she would take a first step toward a new career, a step that could have an effect on the face of the attractive 34-year-old mother of three children. At the same time, 21-year-old Zenda Foster was finishing her day at work and contemplating the same career change. That night, the two women met. The Seattle Center Arena, the first professional fight between women in Washington, was sanctioned by the State Boxing Commission after pressure from women's rights groups, saying the sport had been closed to women. In the ring, former high school track star Zenda Foster dominated the action from the opening bell. Sharon Alberry's new hairdo suffered through all three one-minute rounds. No, I'm going to retire. <laughs> Go back to singing. Thank it's you. safer. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> the official decision a draw. The promoter says he hopes it's the last time he ever sees women in the ring. There's not enough talent around for good fights. The Seattle boxing establishment didn't take this historic first very seriously. But the next day in Portland, Oregon, a woman who demands to be taken seriously was weighing in for another fight. 140 and a half pounds. Nobody's beat my record, and nobody's knocked me out. How many fights? I've had one. <laughs> the next night, it was obvious Carolyn Svensson and Jean Lang came to fight. The self-proclaimed champion says she learned her trade settling fights when she was a bartender. And this was a pretty good barroom brawl. When it was all over, Carolyn Svensson's unbeaten record stood at two. But fight promoters in Portland do see a future for the fists of women in the ring, and Svensson is hearing from challengers in every part of the country. If other state boxing commissions give the okay, she could be making much more than the $300 earned in this ring. And be a pioneer in this unique battle for women's rights 